nine pandas need to weather the storm and, and buy enough time. And I say that against an alchemist draft, but it, this is a different nature of alchemist strategy than what we've mostly been seeing in this tournament from Liquid. Um, it's not like they can't win late, but I definitely do favor them in the later portion of the mid game more so than if we go the and 40 plus. Nine pandas really respecting the AA pick as well. They don't really pick any like healing type. They were a ton in the pool, obviously, which I'm sure Liquid would want him wanted them to have picked. Like the, they're talking about the pugna, for example, which even without the healing, just being able to give mana to this storm spirit. No mana battery this time around. The Elder Titan, kind of an unknown. A lot of times you pick this against a Terrorblade, but the Terrorblade's on your team. Mm -hmm. So only time will tell how this does. But, I mean, it is a good push, anti-push hero, the, the, the Elder Titan, because of the, the way that the Astral Spear Echo Stomp into Earth Splitter works. It we'll feels see if it like works out for them. That was the way they justified picking this over, for example, the Pugna, right? I think the panel had some very good suggestions for what Roger could be playing this game, but... From his perspective, he probably wants to delay pushes and ideally for him, maybe lane against an IO dual lane with his spirit here. He's going to throw it on the Elk and now we're going to run it across the entire map with the gate. Obviously a new <laughs> oh, play yeah. that Elder Titan about available this. beforehand. This, rem this is reminiscent of the good old right. TP. <laughs> <play. laughs> All right, will it surfing. go through any camps? There's Wonder no where Elder there Titan anymore. is, guys. He could be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he gets it through these two as well. This is going right. to hurt. Yeah, he has 63 damage right now, in addition to his base, just beating the shit out of Zai. <laughs> Holy crap. That is cool. They have heals, though. They heals do. Heals for days. They certainly do. But they, he forces them out for the time being, and Sany getting a little bit low on the bot lane. This is a game, an elimination game. Man, both teams really thinking outside the box. Yeah, Roger's going to have to use his salve, but with a very uncharacteristic starting build here, salve plus four, or six tangos, excuse me. Hmm. Not really common to see that nowadays, and it feels like he, he has a plan here. He's like, I'm going to be trading regen with you guys for as long as I possibly can in this lane to give Terrorblade a good start. Um, I mean, so far so good, I suppose. All right. This is pretty happy. Let's talk about the Witch Doctor, okay? Typically a support. Off lane this game, obviously we've talked about the healing synergy between you know, the Witch Doctor, the IO, and you have the anti-heal from the AA, and then the, just the general push from the Lone Druid Alk. Is this a good Witch Doctor game <laughs> as core? As first blood, okay. Oh, they're Insania both dying, maybe. gets it in the bot lane. Close call. And Teres, oh, one more right oh, click. Bottom. Double kill for an Ancient Apparition position five. He did go Chilling Touch level one, so he was harassing right off the bat. How in the world is this lane getting a double kill? That is an incredible start from Liquid that you definitely could not have expected. That Doom Sky will be killed by a level one AA plus Elk lane. Maybe Insania did get level two just before it, potentially, but... Yeah, as far as Witch Doctor goes, I don't know. I, I think... Again, this, this strategy is not so much about the individual heroes, it's about the combination of everything they're bringing together, because I look over the side of Nine Pandas, and I feel like there's a completely unanswered Storm Spirit in this game. Oh, and Sania, Sania will be on the Fairy Fire keeps time. them alive a little bit longer. I mean, another thing to think about with the, the lineups that they have, Witch Doctor, Maledict against Terrorblade is insanely good, especially when you can't heal with AA. So that is something maybe we can look forward to. But yeah, definitely out of the box, which you love to see, regardless of who you're rooting for. But I think the timing window is the big thing, right? I, I, I cannot personally see this lineup surviving super late game against what Nine Pandas have, so. So they were level two. Okay, I was like, there's no way they die level one, and they didn't, so. But even level two getting a double kill in that lane is unexpected, to be fair. Yeah. Miero has found himself the Chain Lightning Harpy. Can't spam this too much if he runs out of mana in this lane. I had the pleasure Another day of playing against an offlane Caudal Doom, where the Doom found Chain Lightning. And he Chain Lightning for five minutes straight. It was <laughs> awful, but he can't do that this game. That's right. He can do it for a bit with Arcane Boots, but you will eventually run dry, at the very least. Seeing Nisha putting on some good pressure here. Kyotaka's holding his own, though. The panel was talking about this being a good lane for Lone Druid. Concoction. And it's actually going to proc the Cold Feet. So nice combo coming out. And Terry's staying alive with that wand. Gonna get slowed by the Ice Vortex, which does damage now, of course, and Insania with his third kill of the game. And Mick it laughing there because Insania did everything he could to give him the kill, and then, oh wait, Skyrath had a lot more heals than we expected, and he still yeah. gets the kill in the end, so it was all for nothing. Might as well have killed him right away. It happens. Yeah. 
As we're going to see a bottle refill in the mid lane for Kiyotaka, who was not able to get the water room top. A lot of denies on Ramses as well. Worth keeping an eye on this top lane. 13 denies for Terrorblade. Should be building a very significant experience advantage here, as a matter of fact. Almost level 4 to the level 3 of Witch Doctor. So he will definitely be well, That's okay. Witch Doctor is used to being a support anyways. And Teres going to take a full concoction from Mickey. And that's on damage. top of the Ice Vortex. Yeah, the damage is just overwhelming. Insane. They can just get that catch. It's, it's an easy kill. I wonder if... Uh, I'm assuming there wasn't a change. You can still Sunder while Ice Blasted, right? It hasn't been changed into being a heal. I think so, although I was not seen an interaction. The reason bad. I was wondering it was when we saw the pick order from Liquid, right? They picked Alk AA together. Yeah. And they haven't been protecting their Alk against AA in general this tournament. So it almost seemed like they were protecting themselves against Terrorblade, but I, I think you can still Sunder I'm not sure. when you're Ice Blasted. If you can't, it's suddenly a very different matchup. Oh, Cask won't bounce again onto Ramses, so he will be A-OK. -okay. Gets the reflection on Io and looks hilarious with that cosmetic. Concoction from Mickey. He's getting pursued, though. Blood Grenade, Echo Stomp is there as well. He gets it off in time, so will not stun himself. Meanwhile, Ramsey's getting chased. The Alk will die in the bot lane. Ramsey's still being pursued around the trees, trying to block with his illusions. Boxing now taking heavy damage, but the cask is there. Blood Grenade going to slow them down. There's more rotation from nine pandas, trying to turn this around onto Zai. Ramsey's still sticking around, facing off against these two basically support heroes. Echo Stomp connects. I, know I can't get over this Witch Doctor. I had the Benny Hill theme playing in my head <laughs> when they started running around the trees there, but... Yep, nobody's gonna die. Apparently not. A lot of heals, as we've said. Oh, they're full Antares, health again. Okay, oh, maybe I he take will it back. Die. He might die. Cask does not bounce again onto Antares. Will be pursued again through the trees. Can they find the vision? And yes, just barely boxy with that last right click. This thing is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's been so for a while, but we haven't really seen any team playing at this tournament until now. Liquid pulling out a little bit of a pocket strategy here in the deciding game. And the reason I call it that is the oh, lone turn as well. has okay. to be careful. Ice Vortex is there, able to get out. But now he's getting gone on by Boxy and his spirits. One more will do it. Make it a right click for Insania, who is destroying on this ancient apparition. Let's see if he can afford to ray pierce this game as well. <laughs> we'll yeah. get there on The old her. Hurricane Pike Divine Rapier AA, always a classic. They're losing two towers minutes seven. This is really, really bad news for Nine Pandas. They're actually getting run over currently. It looked fine for a bit in the lane, uh, but... Misha, he gets off his true form, so he's going to get tanky again. Fine. Now, the bear still pounds on Kiyotaka, but... No point in ancient seal. Roger will steal the wisdom rune. Yep. So at least something going their way, but Liquid with a huge lead already. Yeah, Boxy's got his spirits ready to go. Just can't get... Okay, he's going to get both with the stomp. High fives the tower. They still know where he is, and you have to think eventually he will go down. And that last right click. Okay, not able to get denied. That was actually pretty damn close. So Insania, continuing his rampage throughout this game, now has the fifth kill to his name. And with these arcane boots, he's just running with boxes. A classic ganking duo. <laughs> AA, IO, roaming. Yeah. We will remember this forever. Dota is a, an interesting game. Sometimes stuff that never works just works. That's what a terrible quote, but I'm yes. glad that it was you that said it. It's a famous one from Abraham Lincoln, as a okay. matter of fact. Yes. Very good. 4K lead for Liquid. Yotaka and Roger, they are smoked up. It's going to pop. Nisha doesn't have true form this time, but he does have Boxy to link up with him. Is it going to be enough to keep him alive? Looks like no. that is a big no. So big kill from Nine Pandas, trying to punish this Liquid lineup. Still a little bit more mana for Kiyotaka, but not enough to actually get the kill on the Boxy. Now links up with his partner, Insania. And Miero, he's top net worth on his team right now. It, my question to you, is this a... He actually is going Midas, as we'll talk yeah. about in just a moment. I was Mickey gets the concoction, say. attempting the TP out. It's going to be close! They get him! Has to make the walk of shame. And now we can talk about the hand of Midas. How greedy is that against this lineup from Liquid that obviously is timing-based, and they want to push? Yeah, there's two ways of looking at it, right? One is, I'm going to go Midas, and we're going to survive through it, and then we'll beat them on greed. And the other one is, uh-oh, we're going to be in trouble. I have to buy Crimson Guard to stall and defend the towers. And he... He believes they can pull this greed off. I, I think it's a bold choice. I would have also personally liked to see a Crimson first, and then you can actually go back for the Midas if you need to. 
Uh, Crimson Guard, obviously amazing against Lone Droid's tower push by blocking on the tower itself. Mm -hmm. um, especially when he comes in with Overcharge, you get so much attack speed but no additional damage, so the block is full value. And this is going to take some time. Obviously, the Midas will be completed in 250 and then needs to get a full vid booster plus the buildup. So I don't think we're looking at anything sub-15 Crimson here for Miro, the way this is going so far. See if it comes back to bite them. Yep, I mean, we'll know pretty soon, because <laughs> this yep. lineup, like we said, will not last forever, I would think. Stealing the stack here, Liquid. Yep. That is nice for Liquid. Roger, he's going to run into this. A lot of these creeps have already died, of course. We'll be sad to see that. We'll get a couple for himself in the meantime. As Zai, he's going to get gone on. Kiyotaka with the Electric Vortex. Zai, he has been maxing out this Voodoo Restoration, but it's not enough to keep him alive. He's going to see the first Ice Blast of the game. Miero throws out the Doom. Dies shortly after. Now the link up onto the Alchemist. Looks like they can be able to heal through this relatively easily. The so Ramses makes his rotation, gets off the Metamorphosis as well. All for naught, it seems. Kiyotaka will find the best neutral item in the game on Storm relative to tier. We'll get the Fairy Trinket. Incredible on this hero. Spell damage and mana cost reduction is outstanding for the Storm. Yeah, Liquid getting another kill there. Onto the Doom, slowing down Miro further. He does have the Midas, but yeah. he would have loved to even be close-ish to a Crimson at this point. If he was having a great game, he would absolutely have the Vanguard on top of the Midas. So but Zai's win rate was 76% on Witch Doctor, which is sixth for him. His concoction popped. Looking for Roger, looking for the Echo Stomp, but he is not going to find it. He will go to the grave. Another kill for Liquid. Reload. question is, can they get more? And there is. Oh, AA Blast coming. Looks like it'll connect onto him. Zai is here. He's going to get Ancient Sealed, though. And there is. Should be able to walk this off, but the concoction is for the Doom. And there's the first Death Ward of the oh, game. Really doing up. massive okay. damage. Miero is dead. Uh, I think. I'm not sure if Concoction. He's not done yet. Mickey going deep into the base already at 11 and a half minutes. Will not find the Sky Wrath. Linked up now by Boxy. Echo Stomp from Roger. They're going to get punished for this. Electric Vortex Kiyotaka by Mickey. Getting healed so much between Boxy and Zai. Can they actually dive this far and get away with it? Under the Tier 3 tower, down goes Roger. Kiyotaka, he's out of mana now. The spirits are coming for him. One more right click should do it. Finding the distance with that last zip. He's going to die as well. What the hell is going on? Miero, right outside his fountain. He just <laughs> is this Dota? 12 minutes in and you're diving! A Blast is coming! Oh, oh my he's goodness! Dead. And Tars is gonna burn! <laughs> and he <died. laughs> 12 minutes in, 9k lead for Liquid! Now, again, we were expecting them to do well early, maybe not this well. How long can it last? How long is the window open? It's because they got that huge burst of heal there. Oh, it's open a lot longer after <laughs> this because. They're going to be closing in on their next key items. They got the mech on the IO. Lone Druid is looking to push mid now as well, closing in on Deso. There is a real possibility <laughs> that Liquid could end this game sub-20 because, I mean, I, I still need to see what Terrible is going to offer. A another situation here where Liquid are effectively diving <laughs> the deepest you've ever seen, and Ramses is nowhere to be seen. He doesn't even have a TP. He's just stuck up top, playing on his own, farming. Yeah. And it feels like, I mean, I understand you want to do this as terribly, but your team is kind of desperate for help at this point. I, how long can you actually play this way before you're forced to, to join up? Miero is not going to go Vanguard, or rather, he is for now, but he's not going to turn it into... No, he's not even getting Spirit here. Vessel, it looks he's like. going straight Vessel. Wow. They need to solve this healing problem. That's true. That is true. I mean, <laughs> I, mean you, I guess you use it on whoever is linked up. Yeah. Or the IO. But still, there's going to be... Heals coming out from the Witch Doctor. And, I mean, he did end up going for the Midas first, so we'll see if that pays off. Obviously not yet. And it, it seems like the reason Liquid opened... Is, is it possible that they opened Alk AA because they wanted the strategy from the beginning of the game, right? It, it's like, it is possible this was a complete pocket strat from yeah, the Yeah, it, it could have been, but you can't guarantee that the IO doesn't get banned, and I think that's the most crucial part of this strategy. But yep. maybe you're like... No team would expect you to pick IO when your other support is AA, right? True. So it's, I guess it's pretty concealed. 
And also from their cameras, it looked like they were agreeing, all right, guys, let's pull this strat off. And that was second yeah. phase, right? So well, plus you know that maybe it wasn't fully planned. You know that the enemy will not be picking Aya because you have an AA. Yes. So that kind of denies that to some degree. Absolutely. I mean, you don't truly. We, we've seen AA. I mean, we've but, seen it, but, but it's, it's dissuaded heavily. Yeah, absolutely. And okay, he did finish the van. Man, he's going back and forth. Oh, I guess he's going to take gonna that apart. He's going to disassemble it. Yeah. Okay. Under attack. All right, so. Liquid, 9K lead. And I mean, a hero or a person we haven't talked about very much is Nisha, which is playing this Lone Druid, of course, the Mask of Madness. <laughs> it almost boots. seems like they could have had anything at this point, right? Oh, the bear does help with the pushing. No, that is the initiation coming okay. from Nine Pandas. They get a very important kill on a Mickey, but there's a relocate. Sai is linked up. It's off the Death Ward as well, but it's not enough for a kill. Every one of these kills for Nine Pandas is super important. It's just about buying time and stemming the bleeding, getting there. If they weren't this far behind, if this game was somewhat even in gold right now, they would be pretty happy, but... Yeah, now that that Deso's online for Nisha's bear, another tier two tower falls, and that and that's actually I didn't realize they got the bottom one until every tier two tower is dead for the side of nine pandas. Yep, and we'll see. And they've again. taken none themselves, so there's a lot of dead gold on the map, right? True. Technically, true. But yeah, this dire lineup is not likely to go and knock on the tower anytime soon. They're going to be scared of AA ult and relocate. And considering how much map control they have, and considering they have the global presence of the IO, I would be shocked if Liquid don't try to take the Tormentor from Nine Panda side first. Absolutely would be a good idea. The but first, Roche. Yep. Pretty damn early Roche, but with the Bear, you are afforded this, and the infinite healing coming out from the side of Liquid. Looks like Mjolnir will be next for the bear. I want to. What is on Zai right now? He has. Okay, he actually did go Holy Locket, so even more healing, and Pipe will be next. Yep. Just all in on this push. Stat. Absolutely all in. Which is at the same time also a little bit daunting, right? It could, it could be scary. If you go too far they, one or two times, yeah. you're not. You don't have much to fall back on with this strategy. So really need to keep the execution up as they have so far. Saw the 9k gold lead just a moment ago. It's down to six. So, Nine Pandas did end up getting that bot tower with the Siege Wave plus Doom. Actually, no play was made from Team Liquid. A bit of a slower Roche, but Liquid do claim it, which will aid in their, I assume, will be high ground push very shortly. And the anti healing is starting to come out. Miero has the vessel. No charges, though, but if he wants, so he could just go and die and get one in this patch. <laughs> Don't yeah, know just if that's go stand around the Tormentor just like Roger. Advisable. Oh yeah, they could do that together. Nice. The Roger and Ramsey special. And Ramsey's almost has Scotty, so more in the way that anti heal. So the tools are starting to come out. Question is, can Liquid just finish this more or less here and now, or what are you waiting for? Is it the Elk BKB? Probably. Once you have this, just go high ground, I suppose. Top tower mm -hmm. is under it's uh, I feel like you don't want to wait around, but you still got to be. A little bit wary of how you approach the fights. Keep in mind, it's only a level one natural order, but this is something we shouldn't overlook. Yeah. The magic resistance reduction helps Storm and Skyrath a ton in killing off cores. Even the Doom gets some significant help from that too with the Scorched Earth damage. Well, we got the Zip in Ancient Seal. He even used the Earth Splitter, but no connection from the side Bring of Nine Pandas. Yotaka has to use basically the rest of his mana just to get away. And Terry's getting chased by this fearsome bear. Will drop as a result, and now Liquid will likely poke the high ground, and this this poke will be very aggressive, let's say. Fortification popped. The, the creeps are gonna survive the cliff. And now that there I mean there is the Echo Stomp, but there's no Earth Splitter, so no massive combo potential from nine pandas for the foreseeable future. Of course, Echo Stomp is quite annoying to deal in. Uh, to go into. They will get this tower pretty much free, but now the entirety of Nine Pandas are alive. What is their response? Do they give this up and just delay it for the second racks, or will they actually fight? The bear's just gonna get this build these buildings all by himself. Fortification popped it to delay this a little bit longer. Mickey and that has his concoction ready as well. It looks like this will be given up by Nine Pandas, so Liquid get their first set of racks at 18 and a half minutes. Plenty of time just to continue. Remember, the age is still online. Pretty fresh one, in fact. For the mid lane, potentially, or we'll see if they... I mean, it is 19 minutes, getting close to that Tormentor timing. 
And how important are the shards here for Liquid? So the bottom two net worth for them would be the AA and the IO. AA, that's a new one, right? That's yeah, AA blast. shard gives it ice, ice blast a 60% stun duration of the current level of cold feet. Yeah. Can be really good against a hero like Storm, actually. And All right. IO is this is going to be the amp. moment, though. This is everything for pandas. If they fail this fight, the game's likely over. Yep. Pipe, Pipe activated. Pipe was just picked up by Miero, so he can activate his own as well. The fear applied to Kiyotaka, but he's able to get out. There's a big Earth Spinner coming out. That is a dead Zai right off the bat. And now the focus is on the IO, so Boxy is dead. All the healers dead for Liquid. And Ramsey's continuing to right click on a Mickey who had to pop his BKB. But they're going to fight Kiyotaka. He gets bashed into oblivion, rooted by the bear. And now Roger ticking down ever so slowly. Mickey's going to blink in just to finish him off. Ramsey's has to be careful here on the on the footsteps of his base. Nisha getting kited by this Scotty, getting really low. And again, no healers available to him. Another right click coming. And that is the Aegis. His bear, of course, still alive, able to operate freely. And Ramsey's his. Metamorphosis is about to end here in a few seconds. Liquid are just going to go again. Absolutely. Now that Their this is down. Are, they're alive again. You're, you've got to commit for this. You have such a big advantage now with this on cooldown. No Earth Splitter, no Doom. And you still have your second bear. The first one didn't die in that yep. entire engagement. You're just going straight back in. This fight is going to be even harder now for nine pandas. Yeah, they no Doom. The ultimate, that is. And no Earth Do get the Witch Doctor set up. up onto two. There's the Mystic. Okay, they'll be able to do a lot of burst damage to this Witch Doctor. A Blast comes in and basically hits the entirety of nine pandas. And that is a dead Terror Blade. The AA Blast absolutely destroyed them. And now the focus is on the buildings. Will they get this second Rax? It looks like that is a resounding yes. As Liquid, very close to finishing this game three and going to the Grand Finals. That's two sets of racks, and they're not going to stop yet. Mickey jumps in with the concoction on the Kiyotaka, forced to zip away. Another tier three on their plate. Terrorblade not alive for 20 seconds. Doom still with no ultimate for the foreseeable future. 40 seconds away. They cannot stop this. Concoction applied to Roger. They find him in the trees. He's dead. Miero, yes. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage. They actually, he gets stunned out and double kill for Mickey. And this is looking way over for Liquid. Ontario is getting chased onto the tower. GG's are called. Liquid going to the grand finals with a position three Witch Doctor. My goodness, what a showing. We've seen a lot of one-sided games this tournament, but not, not in this way. I feel like this one was a, a really unique one that Liquid pulled one out of the bag. They first faced AA, something we haven't seen, I want to say, the entire main event. They run this back with an IO Witch Doctor offlane, full-on push healing strat in this patch. And they made quick work of it. This, this game was getting... I mean, when they started diving the base, it was basically getting out of control, right? That was yeah. minute 10, I think. They yes. were between the towers. And Around that time, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. It's got to, you got to feel bad for, for the nine pandas, of course. They they had their shot yesterday against Gaming Gladiators. They were well ahead in game one and dropped that one. They dropped down here. They look good game one and again just fall short. Still think they can be proud of a, a great tournament oh, run from themselves. Great showing. And I think that they helped develop the meta for this tournament quite yeah. a bit with their crazy ass picks. The bounty hunter that we talked about. I mean, that wasn't crazy, but they played it so well throughout this entire tournament. Obviously, with the stand in, solo being replaced by Roger. Great showing from Nine Pandas, but in this specific game, that healing strat just felt unstoppable at that early stage. And we did talk about it pregame. What would they be able to do to stop it? The Midas didn't help. No, definitely <laughs> uh, not. I thought the, the Elder Titan was definitely a cool solution. It just never really formed. I mean, it showed, it showed its promise. It, you imagine this game without Liquid getting that absolutely snowball fight into the enemy base. Like, what if the gold lead is half as big? And yeah. they got like 4K or 5K gold on this, like, just full on train down the enemy base, killing back to back to back to back heroes. And, you know, what could have been here for Nine Pandas without some mistakes is the question. But that's, that's the thing when you're playing against a lineup that plays this fast, the pressure, it can really get to you. It goes really fast all of a sudden. And yeah. They couldn't recover. That was a very entertaining game number three. Team Liquid going to the grand finals to face against Gaming Gladiators. You may have thought that that was the shortest game of the Berlin Major, but no, that's only the eighth shortest, believe it or not. But this game was over before it was over, really, wasn't it? I mean, there were multiple times when we were saying, well, should we go back out there? This game is going to be over in a second. 
this was an absolute. I'm going to say it. I, I don't. I didn't know if the car said it. A Gabe and level shellac. <laughs> Gabe and level shellacking. Yeah, Jar uh, Jenkins will be proud. Yeah, as you can see on the screen, it's an 11-minute dive into the enemy tier force. Like Liquid completely ran away with this game. Absolutely crazy. I was running backstage into William, aka Blitz, and he was just smiling about this funny <laughs> draft. <laughs> I think he's smiling now as well. Well, uh, as soon as we've seen the the uh, the, the the best of, of Liquid, or I mean, can they pull something like this out in the final as well, Sheep? I mean, they were very confident with this draft. Yeah, they just were like the draft picks came out so fast. They clearly had a very good idea. I don't know where they were hiding this before, <laughs> uh, but they clearly had a good idea of what they wanted. This AA to set up for being able to pick an IO and like protect their Al and all this healing boost. Boosting this uh, lone druid, like they did 20k building damage. They just ran at stuff, and they could go wherever they wanted.